Cafe LA here and today I am going to show a little tip on how to, for key binders for non-key binders. Um, when I first started playing the game I was definitely a clicker like most people. Eventually I got to using some key binds. Things got a whole lot better once I started using a Razer Naga and a couple weeks ago someone had mentioned to me why I'm not using the modifiers for a lot of my keybinds. So today I'm going to show you a, a quick and easy way to set it up and maybe make it a little easier to remind yourself. Um, first of all you need something like Bartender or Domino's um, that you can rearrange your bars with. I use Bartender um, and I'll get right to it and show you how it's done. Um, before I get to it You'll notice that some of this is set up in, in rows. Most people set it up in three rows of uh, 12, which is your one to, to zero keys, your minus and your equals, um, which are the same buttons on your, your mouse, if, if you've got a, a nagger or something like that. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is setting up in three, three panels and then one additional one. So the three panels you can set up so that you can have them all almost everything sets your mouse and then you're not having to worry about fumbling across your keyboard to misclick a key or whatnot you'd just be misclicking with your thumb uh, one of the things I found myself running into was that I was overwriting some of the keys that were handy to me that ended up being keybinds in the game you know things like my V key or um, I think once or twice I've used a, a over a P, but it doesn't matter. Anyhow, we're going to start off. What we're going to first do is open up Bartender, so it's slash BT, and unlock the bars. Okay. Now the easiest way, bar one is down here on your left. Um, I use bar six and five will be the, the other two that I'm going to convert. Bar 2 we're pretty much going to just get rid of all together and bar 3 I've been using as kind of my click bar where I keep my mounts and things like that. So we'll start with bar 5 and what we're going to do is highlight bar 5, it's enabled, scale's fine. Um, what we're going to turn it into though is 4 rows which will match the 12 buttons on the mouse and we can drag it down to the center or where we want to keep it. Move our things, our buttons around to whoever we want to see it. We'll line it up nice, nicely with some separation down here. And same with but bar number six. Again, turn that into four rows. Drag it down to the side. And it's set up. Bar two we're not using anymore. So, turn it off. Take a quick look to see if there's anything else you want to move around. Um, in my case, it's going to be my stance bar. Vehicle bar is kind of fine where it is. Um, I use time to die. It doesn't doesn't exactly matter where you set it up. Um, I just tend to keep everything all nice and compact. My pet bar and everything's kind of out of the way. One of the things you're going to find with Mr. Pandaria is you're going to have to look up a lot. On um, you know, some of my characters, I've actually moved stuff higher in the screen, so I've got more time to look up. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a quick setup on, on how to set that up. So we can close that. Could have done it. So we'll start with the key bindings. You're going to have stuff that's already been key bound. So before you you take off the uh, before you start adding them and doubling them up, you want to take a look and see what's been set up. You just put your mouse over top and it'll highlight it. <coughs> These ones you'll leave alone because it's your standard, so in the case of this bar, there hasn't been a whole lot. And then all we got to do is, so the middle panel we're going to turn into control and then click the key, move along, make the setting them up. The 
last one, like turn the shift modifier. So as you see, you put the mouse over it, put the key. Um, now I'll leave the control F1 set up there, but I find handy for me is holding on the shift key and using button five or button five straight down would be what I'm using for my mount key. So then what you can do afterwards is move your keys around to however you want them set up because obviously this layout isn't exactly how I'm going to want it. Uh, one, one thing to keep myself from getting annoyed too much before I, I go and do it is Oh, maybe it was in my user interface. Because um, I'll, I'll have it set up where a button press down, it'll set up when you got to move your mark keys and stuff like that, it'll set stuff off. So we've got mounts up here, we'll take a look up here, and we've got spectral guys, we'll just move stuff around. I can probably leave, leave Faith up there, Brenu is more of a timer thing, Hymn of Hope obviously we're going to make use of. Auto shoot. Um, I used to leave that in. I don't necessarily need to anymore. And the trinket, which I haven't got room for down here, so we'll take a look at the bottom, see if there's something maybe I'm not making use of. Always handy to know what my oats of harmony are. So the trinket down. <coughs> so, like I said, you, you can kind of set things up the way you want to make use of them and your first panel is just straight up button, second button row being control, and third is shift. Um, and wh while you're starting up you can even leave the little modifiers up in the top so you can see what you're doing. Alright, so now that you got the whole thing set up the way you want it, I'm just going to give you a quick show how it's how it's all going to work. Training dummy, and so it's fairly straightforward so if you went control and C2 I'll even leave the uh, the mouse pointer up here to show you how easy it is not to keybind uh, in this case I've made sure that my trinkets for PvP are up here I don't keep them on in in holy spec or in shadow yeah in shadow spec I keep them on in holy I, I actually uh, change that around so I'm start with shift and F5, see, automatic shadow form, I've already selected my target, so you start up a rotation. Now with some of the buffs I've left down here, so since I've left them off, it, it's easy enough to or to turn them back on and go right back into rotation without having to click anything. So hopefully this thing works out for you and uh, leave a comment below and watch it for the next video. So enjoy your new setup and hopefully an improvement in DPS.